hello friends in this video i am going to show you that how you can load the data asynchronously in flutter app okay now i'm going to start a new flutter project and uh, json flutter because i'm going to load a json data from some url so i named it as json flutter and from where I am going to load the data, I am going to show you that I am going to use this GitHub API to fetch the user information. This is the how you can use uh, fetch anyone's profile information in GitHub. HTTPS slash slash API dot GitHub dot com slash users and slash you just have to write the username to get any user information. Okay, so I think our uh, is starting it will take some time and I will fetch some data like I will fetch this ID and uh, ID after that what I will access this ID and name two things I will access ID and name okay I will access ID name and public repo public repo okay ID name and public repo so to start working on this app first we need to delete this test file okay when you're creating your own project you need not to keep that file okay let's import and i'm going to use this material first we start our emulator now i am going to just call our main function and run it and this will be new app okay app name any other app name anything and this will extend state full and now i am going to create a override method and this will return new app App state okay now I'm going to create this class and this will extend state and extend of app name now I'm going to create one more override method and this time I am going to return new material app and now we have created our almost a simple app and new scaffold and then we call it new container and that container will consist of some padding and that padding will be from all side 12.0 so that there will be some and now there will be a child and I am going to create some column and some children inside the children I am going to first new text field and the text will have some decoration that decoration will be hint and hint will be enter github user name okay and uh, after this we need to create one button new okay i forgot to okay, now no error new raised button and that button and there will be some child and that child will be with some text and not text field text and that text will be get info okay now after this i am going to create some field for those new text and this text will be name and here will be name first and new text and here will be id id and after this new anything else anything else anything else okay public repo new text public repo and that will be public repo okay and i think we are ready to go
now I'm going to just create those variables so the string name and name will be initialized with null string id and id is I think integer type so we need to initialize with zero Let's int and there is one more thing that public repo and public repo will be also initialized with zero and uh, what we need to do name id and repo we have defined all this i don't know why this is still error save something is something here okay i have defined this in wrong place that is out of the scope of that okay now no error okay now i am going to create a controller for this controller and controller name will be users okay so i now to, i need to con create this controller also and new controller and this is good now we need to perform some action on click so now we need to do call this get data and this this will be our function so now i'm going to okay just copy this get data from here and paste it here and we are when i will run this app now our app ui is almost ready now we have to do this backend so to get data from the server we need to import this http as http and we need to import one more thing that will convert to convert json data decode json data and now i am going to use this let's see that how our app is looking now it's still not deployed okay so i am going to use this function as asynchronously okay now i am going to use this as sorry that http dot get and actually where we want to send request we need that we want to send request on this url okay string string url equal to this is our url and let's see this is our but here is some problem that uh, the you know app bar so i'm going to create one app bar because it's not looking good i really love that app bar text new text and text will be json app now app bar come on okay we need to rerun this Okay, now actually we need to send request JSON dot get, and that we want to send <coughs> request. So we need this users. We need this profile URL to create this profile URL. We will add URL plus username, and from we and we will pass username here so that we can get the username string username okay and uh, now there will be some error because there is no parameter has been passed to do that i am going to just pass this user.txt this will pass the value of this text and this will receive that okay now we will profile and there will be some header and that header will be accept and what that will accept that will accept application slash json type file okay this is done and this will return some response so i am going to put this in this and now i am going to uh, convert that response body this dot body okay it is not giving a body because i have not used here a way to we want to wait till we get some response from this profile url this is the url so we want to wait till that time Okay, body 
and now what I want I just want to decode this so JSON dot decode and I will put this okay now we have this data and we got this data this data computer data now what we want we want that when uh, we want to update the variable name to this body and and we will pass name here so we can get the name and to get the id we will pass this body and the id id and for this public repo we will this body and we will just copy this and paste it here okay now we, we need to call this set state to rebuild our app sprint cucc yes is success now let's try actually i'm going to see the ui there is no space between all the things so i'm going to add some space and that will look some how uh, better than this new padding and padding will be from not all only and that will be only from bottom that will be 10.0 it's good and i'm going to add this everywhere after each component and after this bottom i'm going to add 20. so this is how our app is looking like now so I am going to just stop this here and rerun it so that we can see this. Let's see what we will get as output. And it's running. Installing. If you face any problem or I did everything fast, please let me know because this is my first video when i click on this get data okay you can see this name it is id something repo 55 and if i change this to something else like c e b o o k facebook okay i got the information about facebook if i change it to um, what uh, google G -W -G, google we are getting the information we i think that you got the information that how i am fetching this data and uh, i am again going to show you that how i am doing this uh, we have a function called uh, where is the function here is our function we have function get data which is except the which have argument username and which is uh, a signature function and we are creating a dynamic url by uh, just concatenating this two url url plus username and this gives us a profile API URL which return the JSON response of that profile and we are sending the request get request to that URL and we are accepting this JSON response and we are just decoding that and after that we are just taking two uh, three inputs from that three three things from that first one is name ID and public repo and set state and uh, we print this success and set state basically rebuild this uh, rerun this uh, function rerun this build so that the, these three variables can be updated name id and uh, public repo i hope that you got that how it works and thank you i will upload this code uh, to github or somewhere else so that you can uh, read this on a gist and i will say like i am going to copy and i am going to do, do this so let's open this gist gist github.com and i will share this uh, with you okay what uh, m a i m main dot b a r t dot okay and now i'm going to create secret create public gist okay i'm name as a a s y m c a c h t t s t t p RQ you request okay and create public list and I will add this in comment so that you can come here and can get this code. Thank you and I hope that you got the idea that how I 
just remember to de delete this file from test from test i deleted that file if you will not do it this may show some errors thank you